This video demonstrates how to configure AeroCAD to produce the correct bill of materials for designs with single rises for dual laterals. AeroCAD resolves each junction as shown by the red dots. The solution we want is shown by the blue dots. If we look at the components of each riser junction, there is a riser pipe, a fitting on the submain, and a fitting on the lateral. For the riser, we can configure the pipe type and the submain depth. For the fittings, if we treat these as assemblies, we have the opportunity for greater customization. We can have multiple items in the assembly, and we can have fractional quantities. Although in AeroCAD's mind it is resolving the junctions, as in the image to the left, we can configure the assemblies to represent the image to the right. AeroCAD will still resolve each individual lateral to submain junction. The key is to have fractional quantities in the assembly in order to have the correct bill of materials. For example, if we have 0.5 submain tees and 0.5 riser tees in the assembly, the result will be one of each for every dual lateral set. The riser pipe quantity will be double what is required. I'll discuss how to resolve this later in the video. It is very helpful to have a unique pipe type for the riser pipe. This prevents unintended use elsewhere in a project and allows for more customization. Here are some examples. RVN could be riser PVC non-regulated. RVR, riser PVC regulated. RPN, riser polyethylene non-regulated. RPR, riser polyethylene regulated. Utilizing user-specified riser pipes in each design allows you to control which assemblies Uricad selects. In this way, you don't have to turn assemblies on or off in the database for different types of designs. Naturally, the more riser pipe options you have, the more assemblies you will need to build in the database. For this video, I have made a new pipe type in the pipe fitting matching table. The type is RPN, riser, poly, non-regulated. The pipe is female, fittings will be male. Rounding is set to 1. We want to see the true quantity in the bill of materials, not a length rounded to 20 feet or 100 feet. You may have pre-cut riser pipes that are 2 feet long and sold per unit. If you set the submain depth to 1, the total length in the bill of materials will be the number of units. Let's look at an example where the submain is PVC, the laterals are 5 8 drip tape, and the riser pipe and horizontal pipe are 3 quarter inch poly. There are many fitting options. These are the ones used in this example. This is the assembly in the database for the T at the top of the riser pipe. The drip tape has a pipe type of LDP and is female, so fittings need to be LDP and male. The quantities are half those required. Remember, Ericad is going to pick this T for every lateral. For a dual lateral set, the quantity will be correct. This is the assembly in the database for the T at the bottom of the riser pipe. An assembly will be required for each pipe diameter used in the submain. If LTO lateral takeoffs are used, only one assembly will be required. We also need to create a pipe for the riser pipe in the database. This is in the pipe section of the database. Notice that this pipe is not flagged for use as a lateral zone pipe or mainline pipe. In this way, it won't be selected uh, as one of the diameters in the design. Also, it has the pipe type of RPN. This pipe is in the database solely for the purpose of being used as a riser pipe. Let's test the assemblies on a simple design. 
Here we have a block of 20 drip tape laterals in 10 sets of dual drip lines. We can see that the submain is 2 inch PVC and the depth is set to 1 foot. We're going to specify the riser selection rules. Between 0 and 1 feet, we're going to use the user option and select the 3 quarter poly RNV riser pipe that we've created in the database. Now we run the computer selection of fittings. And we're just going to look at the fittings in the riser junctions. So we're just going to select that area and view the bill of materials. For a selected area, we need to give it a, a name. And we can see that there are 10 2 inch by 3 quarter T's. At the top of the riser, there are 10 3 quarter inch T's. And there are the associated fittings uh, for those T's. There are 20 uh, 5 8 tape lock T's and associated fittings to convert to the polyethylene. Note that there are 20 riser pipes. There are 10 risers and there are 20 pipes. We could uh, accept that part of these pipes is going to be used for the horizontal section, or if we want to, we can put a negative quantity in the miscellaneous costs. To do that, we go to miscellaneous costs. We'll add that item and put in a quantity of minus 10. When we look at the bill of material reports again, we can see that there are now 10 units or 10 feet of the riser pipe. A few final thoughts. Please be aware that the friction loss in these assemblies can be very high particularly if small ball valves or pressure regulators are used in the assemblies. URICAD has no knowledge of the hydraulic characteristics of items inside assemblies, and so the friction loss is not taken into account.